Things are missing. Nothing valuable, hopefully. Wait, where's Paimon's Mora? It's hard to say their value, but some of my alchemy notes are missing. Alchemy notes? Would they fetch a high price? To the uninitiated, they are merely scraps of paper. But for someone who knows what they're doing, the knowledge contained in those notes is more valuable than any treasure. So you're saying only someone who knows alchemy would have stolen them? But the only people who come to Dragonspine are adventurers, thieves, and monsters! What use would any of them have with your notes? I feel the same way. However, hilly trail break-ins and other such incidents are not unheard of on Dragonspine. It's difficult to draw a conclusion based solely on the evidence at hand. <sighs> hmm... These appear to be... Footprints? Fresh ones. Meaning our thief can't have made it far. Let's chase them down! We can't let them get away! From the entrance, the footprints go that way. Footprints lead up there. That's why we have to hurry. The footprints stop here! Our thief must have jumped from the cliff. Get your wind glider ready. We are going down. Here, more footprints. They're heading to the cavern! Ooh, we got you now! You sure can run, but you definitely can't hide! Let's go in! Wait. I have an idea. I'll go in alone. Traveler, please stay here and guard the entrance. This cavern has two points of entry, and there are shortcuts inside. Judging from the state of the footprints, he hasn't been in there long. I should be able to reach the other side before he does. 
cut him off at both ends. Good idea! Whoever apprehends the thief first has to notify the other party. This way we're fully covered. Still, safety comes first. We do not yet know the identity of our thief. Please take care. We'll be fine. <sighs> okay. See you shortly. Of course. I wonder if Albedo found the thief. This is taking forever. Really? Huh. Maybe it just feels like a long time because Paimon hates waiting. Waiting is so boring! Why don't we find something to do to pass the time? You know, something like... Um... Something like... Oh! Look at all that star silver over there! Why don't we gather it up for Albedo? It's right next to the cavern, so we won't be going far. If anything happens outside, we can be right back here in no time! Yay! Let's get started! Looks kind of lackluster. Is that because of the impurities like Albedo was talking about? shines a lot more brightly than others, huh? Finally, you're back! Yes. Sorry. I was unable to catch him. He was faster than I'd imagined. Oh. Oh. So after all that, we still don't even know who the thief was? Oh, what a waste! Still, we won't be going back completely empty-handed. We did some mining! Uh, mining? Yeah, for star silver. Look, we got quite a lot. It's just like you said. Some are really bright and shiny, and others just look like regular lumps of rock with a little shiny bit here or there. Star silver. Uh, <laughs> I was merely saying what was on the front of my mind. I hadn't thought you would genuinely go and gather some. Well, you said they can be turned into paint, so we got pretty curious. Also, if it weren't for that thief, we'd be making paint by now anyway, right? Or even painting by this point. Anyway, it's all the thief's fault for wasting our time. Yes, it's all the thief's fault. The notes mean a lot to me. I'm not quite ready to give up the search yet. Let's keep an eye out for clues as we go. Oh, just one thing. Do you want to bring all this ore back, or did you want to sort through and get rid of the useless bits first? There's no point in bringing the bad ones back if it'll ruin the quality of the paint. Mm, some of them do look pretty dull to Paimon, so it doesn't seem like those will be of any use at all. <sighs> Indeed. The sorting process is necessary. Humans are such practical creatures. They only want those things that are good. Once they have learned to distinguish between good and bad, they will never stop comparing things in their minds. Useless things should be disposed of at the outset. Right! Saves a lot of time that way. Efficiency first! So, let's start by... Help! Help me! Wait! Did you guys hear that? Was that a cry for help? It's likely an adventurer in danger! Okay! Hey! 
Is that? Hmm? Is that the traveler in Paimon? It's me, Bennett! Whoa! It's really him! Let's get him out! So sorry to trouble you guys again. The key should be someplace nearby. Please, help me find it! Wow! So much clutter! We're not gonna find the key here, surely! Uh-oh! We got company! Solidify! <laughs> Go! It's time to flash for Gather! Order guide you! Allow me! The wind knows it. Come on. Clouds high. The birds come. Oh, so they kept the key with them. Huh. We were searching around for nothing. Oh, finally, I'm out. Thank you so much. If only there hadn't been rocks mixed in with the snow on the tree, it wouldn't have made me all dizzy when it fell down onto my head. And then I would have never walked into the Fatui's trap. Bennett? In a cage? Never saw that coming. <laughs> I won't bore you with the rest of the details. Just me being unlucky again. Yep! Taking them out was child's play! No need to thank us. You did? <laughs> That's so nice of you guys. I know they were probably just following orders. But still, thanks for helping me out. So what are you doing on Dragonspine? Didn't Razor want to come with you? Did you hear about the Adventurer's Guild thing? They're hosting a winter camp here. As one of their veteran adventurers, I'm here to help out the rookies. Razor is not an adventurer, and as the leader of Benny's adventure team, as well as the only actual member, I had to come on my own. But now I've been stuck here for so long, I probably missed it. Oh, I hope Cyrus doesn't get mad at me. Oh! Wait, so that guy Gerald who got left in the lurch, he was supposed to be paired up with you? If so... Sorry, Bennett, but you really did miss it. He got paired up with a different instructor instead. What? Weren't they short on instructors? Where'd they suddenly get extras from? A few people from the Knights of Avonia stepped up in order to help support the event. So they ended up with more instructors than students. Knights of Favonius... <sighs> yeah, they're definitely more reliable than me. I'm just a walking accident waiting to happen. Right, right! Anyway, that was just the situation when we last saw them. It might have changed by now. Who knows? Maybe a whole load more rookies will have turned up to join in. Besides, after all the trouble you've gone to show up as an instructor, Paimon sure Cyrus will put you to work. Really? For sure. Hey, wait a second. Where'd Albedo go? Albedo? You mean the alchemist from the Knights of Avonius? He's one of the instructors too? No, he just happened to be on Dragonspine. We were just with him, but then we heard you calling for help. He must have left us at some point after that. Hmm, could he have gone back to keep looking for clues? Let's go back to the cavern and see if he's there. Of Albedo. 
This is weird. Where has he run off to? This is great. Dragon Spine's so fun today. There's so many people around. It's never usually like this. This was where we heard Bennett's cry for help, right? We heard his voice and went straight over to rescue him. Then we noticed Albedo was gone. Huh. So he just... didn't feel like helping us save Bennett? Wait, what? What are you talking about? Oh, Albedo! Where the heck have you been? We've been looking for you! I should be the one to ask you that. Didn't I tell you to stay at the cavern entrance? Huh? I'm not really following who was waiting for who and who was looking for who, but... First things first. I apologize, Albedo. I don't fully understand what's going on, but... It seems like it's mostly my fault. No, no. Bennett, this is not because of you. You needn't blame yourself. Traveler, clear this up for me. What was the reason that you left the cavern entrance? Did you... <sighs> there you are. Stay right there. You have a lot of explaining to do. What? Me? Huh? You, huh? Aren't you supposed to be helping the new guy? <laughs> Yes, that's what I would be doing, if I hadn't been interrupted by a certain someone's malicious scheming. Albedo, I saw you taking Joel towards the wasteland at the edge of Dragonspine. That place is crawling with monsters. What the devil do you think you were doing? Uh, uh... Whoa, 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 wait a second! What's going on? Actually, wrong question. How much stuff is going on? When I came to stop you from leading Joel any further, your first reaction was to throw the child down and attack me. When I fought back, you quickly fled. Care to explain? Uh... Oh, I see. Interesting. Interesting? Eula, it sounds like you met an imposter. Someone who was impersonating me. Impersonating you? To what end? It is difficult to draw a definitive conclusion for now. But these strange incidents do seem to be connected. Your alchemy notes were stolen. Can the Traveler and Paimon testify that the three of you were together up until you entered the cavern? Yes, we can confirm that. As things stand, I don't have any reason to harm the child. Whoever you met is likely to be both the thief who stole my notes, and also an imposter. Of course, it's entirely natural for you to be skeptical of my story. I was separated from the Traveler and Paimon for a significant duration while we were pursuing the thief. My word alone cannot serve as a definitive account of my actions and whereabouts during that period. But the Traveler and Paimon can at least testify that I was not the individual who tore up the campsite or stole my notes. Albedo, do you have any enemies? Could it be one of your enemies impersonating you to get revenge on you or something? I don't have any enemies. And I'm not aware of having given anyone cause to exact vengeance upon me. There is insufficient evidence to assert what happened with any certainty at this point. Given how serious the situation is, I intend to investigate it myself. Even if you decide not to pursue it any further. You... I won't discourage your ongoing suspicion of me if you can't believe my story. Though, naturally, I would hope you can afford me some credibility on account of our solidarity as fellow members of the Knights of Favonius. Traveler, Paimon, Bennett, if you are willing, I welcome you to monitor my activities beyond this point so that you can act as my witnesses. If I am what this imposter wants, he will come looking for me again eventually. Things can only become clearer from that point on. <sighs> I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, as preposterous as your claims sound. And I will choose to believe that an imposter went after Joel, and not you. I will keep Joel safe. If you need any support with the investigation, contact myself and Amber. You have my gratitude. As far as Amber goes, I will... Eula! Eula! Where are you? Amber, we're here! Eula! Oh, and Traveler, Paimon, Albedo, and Bennett, you're all together. 
Great. Bennett, I'm glad I ran into you here. Cyrus was telling me you still hadn't shown up. He was getting worried you might have run into some trouble. <laughs> yeah, I ran into a little trouble. Thanks for your concern. Sure thing. Well, now that I found you, let's go check in with Cyrus. Uh, but before that, has something come up? How come you're all gathered here together? Need any help? Between us, there have been a few minor incidents, but nothing I haven't already dealt with. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's my fault, really. All because of my bad luck. But everything is fine now. So, it's all set then? Great! Shall we head back down together? I did say I'd bring Bennett back if I saw him. Sure, I'm ready to go. <sighs> Very well. Let's go. And then there were three. Traveler, can we talk somewhere else? There's... let's go to my camp. My camp is somewhere that we can talk openly, without reservation. But... before that... Wow! What a mess! Thank you. I appreciate it. I've been absorbed in my research lately and haven't attended to the dusting. It's due for a cleaning. Both of you. Now that everything is in order, it's time to talk. You look really serious right now. Is this about what happened earlier? <sighs> I remember I once told you that you must have questions, and that I would answer them. I also said that, while I did not wish to deceive you, there were certain things I could not go into detail on. I am a synthetic human being. A human forged by human hand. The one who created me. My mother and teacher. Her name is Rheindotter. A researcher from Conria. Also known as Gold. A synthetic human? What the... How the heck does that work? When the pinnacle of attainment in alchemy is combined with unimaginably vast learning, the apex achievement is the creation of human life. When you say Conria, do you mean... I am indeed somewhat older than my appearance might suggest. But when I came into being, Conria had already been destroyed. I have no memories of it. My master raised me and taught me everything. Like her. I am a pure alchemist. I live for academic knowledge. Nationality and identity are not what ultimately define us. Traveler, what is your general feeling toward Dragonspine? You've visited numerous times now. Would you say it's a cold, eerie, and melancholy place? Rhindaughter created two miraculous beings. One is me. And the other is the venomous dragon, Durin, who died here. Durin? So that makes you guys... brothers? As sons of Rhine daughter, Durin and I are indeed inextricably linked to one another. The phenomenon of our creation defies definition within the scope of a typical human worldview. But if we may tentatively call it birth, then yes, we by extension our family. Um, speaking of Durin, Paimon remembers that his power was quite... special. That's right. Because of this, 
Whenever strange things happen on Dragonspine, it always makes me wonder. For instance, the feeling of being watched that you described, as well as the sounds you heard, and the one impersonating me that Eula met. that you met my imposter too. Well, if so, it was a pretty good impression. He had you down to a T. We never would have guessed. Also, after he left us, why did he go after Joel? Perhaps Durin's power drives people to madness. But that's merely crude conjecture. Whether someone is impersonating me or there is another false me out there, this is a cursed tale. And it is not one whose weight you should have to bear. Traveler, perhaps you should return to Mondstadt if you have no further business here. The work that lies ahead will occupy me completely. I am afraid I will be unable to entertain you beyond this point. Intending to participate in that winter camp, if I recall correctly. That could serve as an excellent pretext for you to remain on the mountain. In that case, please join in the activities of the Adventurer's Guild as planned, and be on the lookout for any leads while you're at it. If anyone sees me, or someone like me... We'll be sure to pass the info straight on to you! Good. Then we're agreed. Okay, let's split up to look for clues, then meet back here at this camp in a few days' time! Sounds good to me. But please, whatever happens, put your safety first at all times. <laughs> 